The culture of English shaming so Inggris in Indonesia is cancerous and toxic and I hate it because it creates an insecure society. However, I consider myself a fair person. So before we go on and criticize all of these people who are calling us, calling you so Inggris, we first have to ask ourselves, are we actually being so Inggris? So we're going to discuss that in this video. People call you so Inggris for a few reasons. People call you so English because they're jealous that your English is much better than them and therefore they feel jealous of your skills. This way, they call you so English in the hope that they will criticize you and bring you down because they feel very bad about themselves. You speaking English makes them feel minder about themselves. In this case, the problem is with them. And what to do in this situation? The best way to do when people are calling you so English out of jealousy is to ignore them. Reason number two why people call you so English backwards or primitive. Excuse me for being blunt about it, but I just, for a lack of a better word, I'm just gonna call them backwards and primitive. So these are people who call you so Inggris because they have the logic of you are Indonesian, you love Indonesia, and therefore you shouldn't speak English. Itu logika apa? Adanya, the better way to think about it is that if you love Indonesia, you want this country to move forward, to develop better, and therefore they should speak English to make them more seen in the world out there. Membawa nama harum Indonesia dengan berbahasa Inggris lebih baik. That's a better way to look at it. But anyways, let's not get into that. In this case, if you have people around you that call you so English with these reasons, the problem is with them, and the best thing to do is to just ignore them. There's no use convincing them or arguing them about these things because it's just gonna waste your time. Imagine arguing about politics with a pig. You don't blame the pig for not understanding. You blame yourself for wasting your time talking to the pig. You know what I mean? Reason number three is the wrong time and the wrong place. People call you so English because they think it's not the right time or the right place to be speaking English out loud. In this case, the problem is with it depends. It could be that you're actually speaking English in the wrong time or place, but it could also be that their interpretation of what is the right time in the right place is different from yours. So the thing is, everyone's interpretation of the right time in the right place could differ slightly. So the best thing to do in a situation is to self-introspect. But don't worry, we're going to self-introspect together um, a little bit later. And the last reason why people call you so English is out of annoyance. They can see that you're speaking English out loud to show off. They can see right through you, through your intention. In this case, the problem is with you. They can see right through you. They can see that your intention is to show off and that makes them feel uncomfortable, annoyed, or in bahasa ngerasa risih. In this case, the problem is with you. So what do you do in the situation? It's a self-introspect, which we are going to do together right now. So let's do this exercise together. When people are calling you so English, are they calling you when you're reading or watching English videos silently? Then the best thing to do is to ignore them. You're minding your own business silently. You're not bothering anyone by watching um, English videos at your own time. In that case, they're calling you so English stems out of jealousy, minderness, or backwardness. I mean, you're not bothering anyone by reading or listening, so why should anyone bother you? Situation number two, are they calling you so English when you're speaking English out loud in front of people? So I believe this is the majority of the case, right? A lot of the times people call you so English when you're speaking out loud, you're attracting attention. So what do you do when people call you so English out loud? Should you ignore them or should you stop speaking English altogether? Before you do anything, ask yourself these questions first. Why am I speaking out loud? Do I need to speak out loud? If you are speaking out loud because you are in an English classroom and you just want to practice out loud or you have to speak English, then you are at the right place and at the right time. Then people who call you so English in the situation, you can just ignore them. B, maybe you're speaking English out loud because you just cannot find the right words in Bahasa Indonesia because that is often the case. A lot of times there are English expressions that do not have exact translation in Indonesian and you just have to say it in English. In that case, you do have a good reason to speak in English. And you know, people who call you so English in the situation, just tell them, I really don't know what it is in Bahasa. Do you know? Can you tell me? Then do it. Situation C, maybe you are a social media star and you have your own online platform on YouTube, TikTok, Instagram, Facebook, whatever. And you just choose to speak English there. 
It's your platform and you have the right to speak any language you want. However, if you put yourself out there, you also have to prepare for all of the criticisms that are gonna come at you. And what do you do in this situation? It's completely up to you. You can listen to the haters and stop speaking in English, or you can just do whatever you want because you think it's my platform, it's my Instagram, my YouTube, my TikTok, and the haters can just F off. Situation D, if you are speaking English out loud in front of people, even though you don't have a good reason to, you can convey your messages in Indonesian. Why are you speaking in English? Maybe you are doing it to show off. So here, be honest with yourself. It's okay to want to show off. It's okay to want to feel superior, feeling proud of yourself. But it's also right for these people to feel annoyed when you're showing off. The thing is, nobody likes a show off. If you do it just to show off, it's completely fine, but you cannot be mad when other people criticize you. So be honest with yourself. Then ask yourself this question. Do I really need to speak English out loud? If you're hanging out with your friends and they're all Indonesian and you can convey your messages perfectly in Indonesian, then in that situation, that environment, that group of people, then you don't need to speak English, right? If you say, yes, I need to speak English out loud because I want to practice my English skills, then you have to know what the right time and the right place and the right people is. If you're speaking English out loud in front of people who are going to make fun of you, who is not going to teach you anything new, then you're just wasting your time. Why are you doing that? You're better off speaking to yourself, practice at your own time, privately, in your own room, alone. The bottom line is that you have to know the right time and the right place to practice your English out loud. Alias tahu tempat dan tahu waktu. Just remember that if you're speaking English out loud in the wrong place, with the wrong people, you are bound to get criticisms. Of course, you can be idealistic about it and think that people shouldn't shame you for it, but the reality is that people will shame you. So how do you work around it? You want to make sure that you have a small group of supportive people who have the same goals as you, where you can practice speaking English with them. In that case, you are in a safe zone where you're not going to get criticized for speaking English out loud. While we are on this topic, I want to tell you that if you enroll in my online course, you're going to have access to a private Discord community where you can speak English freely every Monday to Friday from around 7 to 9 p.m. with an English tutor or mentor to help you practice your speaking skills. Here, you can be sure that you're not going to be called so English because this is the right time and the right place to be. Anyways, I hope this video helps and I hope it can shed some light to your so English problems. I hope that you find this helpful and I will see you next time in another video and bye-bye.